Good morning, class. Welcome to today's math lesson. Today, we're going to be doing some graphing, and we are going to be graphing with a Venn diagram. Venn diagrams also often have two circles, and you'll see that I'm labeling the green circle girls. I am labeling the blue circle boys. And I was just thinking about some students that I've had in the past. So Martin, hmm. Martin does not have any sisters. He has one brother. So there are only boys in Martin's family. So I'm gonna put him in the blue circle over here because there's only boys. Then I thought about Jace. Jace was in my class and he has two brothers but no sisters. So I am not going to put Jace on the girl side. I'm going to put him on the boy side because there are three boys in his family. Abigail. Abigail has two sweet sisters. And so I am going to put Abigail in the green circle with the girls. She doesn't have any brothers. She just has two sisters. Brooklyn. Brooklyn has two older twin sisters and a little brother. She has two sisters and a brother. So I'm putting her in the middle. I'm putting her in the middle so that there is, she's partly in the blue circle and partly in the green circle. What about Lucy? Well, Lucy has one little brother and she is the sister in the family, so I am going to put her here in the middle. Natalia. And Natalia doesn't have any brothers or sisters. She is the girl in her family, so I'm gonna put her on, in the green circle. And then Hunter. Hunter doesn't have any brothers or sisters, so he is the only boy in his family. I am gonna put him over here on the blue side. You'll notice that in a Venn diagram, there's two circles. So we can have girls and we can have boys here. And if there are girls and boys, we put them right in the middle. Well, here we have Miss Rosie. And Rosie has a little sister and a big brother. So I am gonna put her right here in the middle on the girls and the boys. And here I have Mr. Dominic, and Mr. Dominic has one older brother, so I'm gonna put him over here on the boy's side. And then last but not least is my son, Jonathan, and he has two sisters, and he has three brothers. So we're gonna put him right here in the middle. In a Venn diagram, you can see very, very quickly, hmm, how many families have only girl children? <gasps> Two of them, Abigail and Natalia's. How many families only have boys in their family? One, two, three, four. And how many families have boys and girls? One, two, three, four. There are so many things that you could organize using a Venn diagram. I would love for you to try making a Venn diagram today. You can make one using some rings like I did, or you could draw circles on a piece of paper. I hope that you have a wonderful time playing with math today, class. Bye-bye.